What's up everybody, Austin here, and I posted something recently on my Instagram account that tended to be a bit controversial. I didn't realize it at the time, but I got a lot of messages of people questioning my, my theory about what I'm about to talk about now, so I figured I'd take this time to make a video about it to explain myself. So I think that the most useless part of a skate and my biggest pet peeve on almost all skates are the laces. Now almost every skate these days have laces on it, so it's kind of a weird thing to mention, but hear me out. So first let's talk about the problem, or my problem with laces at least. My first problem with laces are that people are using too many laces. You have the laces on the boot that go through the shell, you have laces that go through the liner. If you have an old pair of rims, you have like the laces in the back that look like a little corset thing. And then to top it off, people have the super long hockey wax laces that wrap around the cuff like three, four times, whatever. I personally don't like the look of laces being wrapped around the cuff a bunch of times. Leave that to the hockey players. And if you're like me, you have sweaty feet when you skate, especially in the summer when it's super hot out. When you have all these laces going on, especially the laces and liners, the laces themselves get all sweaty and gross. And then you have to take them off after the session. Your hands are all covered in like gross skate, funk, sweat. It's not a pleasant experience at all. And then when you have all these laces finally together and tied up, you have all these bows and knots flapping around your skates. And then you don't know where to tuck them. You have to like put them under your buckle or if you have a 45 degree strap, you put it under there. But in my opinion, it doesn't look good. It looks messy. Sometimes I've had in the past where I've had laces sticking out of my buckle and I felt the laces too. Like sometimes the knot gets tucked in there. Also, you feel like all the pressure points. It's too much to put a skate on. It's too much on the skate the way it looks. I just want to be able to put on a skate and go. All right, now that my rant is over, here's how I found out how to fix this problem. Elastic laces. Now you might think that elastic laces are for the kids who don't know how to tie their shoes, but we are rollerblading here, so we're pretty much kids anyway. Now I got these laces on Amazon. I'm sure you can get them anywhere else, but I just searched uh, elastic laces on Amazon and whatever popped up at the highest ratings I tried. And I tried two separate styles of elastic laces. These ones here on my blanks are uh, thicker rubber. They're individual laces also. And the other laces that I have in my Aeons are more like traditional laces. They are a full lace that goes through each eyelet. And I just trim them at the ends and I, I tied a little knot at the top eyelet to hold them in place. They lace just like regular laces. They look like regular laces, but they're elastic -y, so they stretch and allow you to put your foot in and out easily. It's a one and done system. You lace it up, you put them on, you're good to go. Never have to worry about them again. No more wasting time lacing your skates up. No more extra parts flapping around. It's a nice, clean, simple look. You don't have to wrap anything around your cuffs. Now it does help if you do have a 45 degree strap on it because since they are elastic, if you have like a really fat foot or depending on what skate you have, um, if it has like a really open, wide, I guess lacing part, whatever over here, uh, your foot might come out. But if you have a 45 degree strap, it covers it up. So you have like an Aeon or a, a blank skate right here. I got the blank Sean Keen skate. Aeon 80s have the strap right here. So these particular skates, they're good to go. And it's so much easier just slipping your foot in doing one or two straps or a buckle, and then boom, you're good to go. Well, there you go. There's my favorite skate hack for you. I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below, because when I posted this on my Instagram story, I got a lot of interesting replies to it. So I wanna know what you all think. Do the laces bother you? Do they not bother you? Would you rather have a simpler system like this? Let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button, and subscribe to Jump Street Podcast, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.